Hello, hello, and welcome back to uh, Claw Star Wrestling. Yes, 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 that is what we're playing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm in the middle of cooking, it's fine. It's fine, I can just do a 20 minute video in the middle of cooking. Don't worry about it, it's just it's like things are boiling, it's all good. I mouth a wordless plea to uh, for him. But to stay he to stay yes, he steps away to help another another guest. And that's when I hear his voice in my ear. Elijah, uh, that you? Not as loud or gruff as I was expecting. Guess he must be tired from all that boasting earlier. I take a moment to reply, uh, letting my thoughts run their course before opening my mouth. Yep, it's me. Huh, yeah, I thought it was you. He pointed a... Yeah, he pointed up to his own head. The uh, hair really stands out. I sit there at the bar, at a loss for words. I have s I have uh, many things running through my mind, and I just can't seem to find what it is I'm trying to say. Oh, look, I am... Jay, I'm not here to start shit again. I just want you wanted to know... You know. What? He rubs the back of his head. If I, um... If I weren't a few bars d a few beers, not bars, beers deep, I'd say he's a little bit flustered right now. No, I'm not good at talking all- uh, good at all this, just give me a sec to think. I go back to sipping on my cold drink. Take your time. The pause is awkward, but brief. Look, all I'm trying to say is- Before Tremor can get a word out, I see his friends have surrounded us at the bar. More unwanted company. Great. Oh, dude, is this the guy? Yeah, it's gotta be. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at his little hair thing. Dude, you got annihilated out there tonight. How are you still in one piece? Must be crazy to want to get in the ring with this guy, right? Look at him. He's a lot smaller in person, though. I'm surprised Tremor didn't flatten him down to two, uh, to two dimensions. They all laugh, uh, ru wait, row ruckusly in my ear. Uh, Tremor stands silent while my face is burning red. And so he just uh, came over here to fucking embarrass me again, huh? Is that it? That's it. I'm out. I quickly hop a uh, hop <laughs> hop down from the bar stool and try to shove my way into b in between the huge rhino and bull. Oh, some some good boys. I see. I hear. I guess. Um. Uh. Wait. And a bull that are uh, blocking my exit. Dude, where are you off to in such a hurry, little man? Hey, we were just joking around. No need to get in, get in a tizzy. Get the fuck out of my way. God damn it, they won't budge. Uh, these drunk assholes are blocking my only way out. Oh, come on, dude. I thought you'd uh, at least be strong enough to move us. I don't need another fucking fight on my hands tonight. He said to fucking move out of the way. Tremor's voice booms loud enough to shake a few glasses and bottles and their laughter stops immediately. The whole bar is now awkwardly silent as everyone turns, uh, everyone's eyes turn, uh, turn our way. Uh, Tremor's stupid, stupid friends make, make way for me as I storm out of the bar door. Despite the silence, I barely hear Tremor over my own raging thoughts as he calls out uh, to me while I'm leaving. Elijah, damn it! Wait. The heavy door flings open as I push through. I swear if this wasn't Arlo's bar, I would be kicked out. I would have kicked it, kicked it off the hinges. I'm such an idiot. I can barely see thanks to the tears welling up in my eyes. Perfect. Now I'm crying too. Damn it. This... <clears throat> why does this... Wait, why does it feel like the universe is out to get me tonight? I stop on the empty sidewalk in front of the bar. Uh, thank fuck no one can see me like this right now. I just want to scream into the void. The heavy doors swing open again, uh, again behind me. 
Uh, Eli, wait! God damn it! Please, just give me a sec! I turn around and cast a glare that stops the massive dog in his in his tracks. What, Tremor? What? What do you fucking want from me? Is it not enough to humiliate me in the ring that you need to do it in front of all of your drunk friends too? Tremor remains silent. He won't even look me in the eyes right now. There's been enough bullshit tonight. Please, just leave me the fuck alone. He lets out a huge sigh and looks up at the uh, looks up the uh, to meet my eyes. I can tell he's upset. Why is he upset? What possible reason could he have right now to be upset? Look, I... He pauses a moment. I just want to say that I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the line? Sorry for what? My daddy said, like, okay. Uh, for what? <laughs> uh, for how you're treating me? Or for getting me worked up and ditching me once you've had your fun. Both. Fuck. I just... You just what? I'm sorry. He shouts the words at me. I really don't know how to say it. And Tremor uh, stops to look away, trying to choose his words carefully. That's a first. I wipe my eyes with the sleeve of my jacket and shove my hands into my pocket. Pockets. There's an S there. I start to ease my posture up as he goes on. Look, I put on a big fucking show every time we s I step into the ring. And you know, I'm just too stupid to turn it off sometimes. All the times I've just been a dick to you. Really, I'm sorry. Uh, do I- should I turn up the volume on the- on the gamma? Okay, I'll do that. You might not believe me right now, but really, I am. His shoulders drop. You were right earlier, in the locker room. I wouldn't be where I am without you, busting your ass out there for my benefit. The thought never crossed my mind tonight, before you actually said it out loud. And of fucking course my fragile ego couldn't, couldn't uh, stand it. Wait, he actually uh, listened to something I said for once? And he's agreeing with me? Lyra knows it too. She told me as much as, as much when I ran into her tonight. She said that I need to get my shit together, or she'll drop my sorry ass from the roster. I've been chewed out plenty of times, but she really made her point clear. I really, I really am just a slab of meat that's barely getting by. You two are really the only people who've ever made an attempt at pointing that out to me. And Lyra did it because of her uh, bottom line. It feels like you're the only one who tried to get it through my, through to me, because you cared. I've screwed off everyone else, but you actually uh, seem to give a shit about all this. Tremor gestures with his hands to help try to articulate his point. He still isn't looking me in the eye. I take a uh, take a moment to think, uh, letting the silence fill the air. Does he really mean what he's saying? Is he just drunk? Uh, this sudden shift in his attitude is weirding me out right now. Is he apolo Is uh, his apology genuine? Am I even uh, still mad at him? God damn it, Tremor. Lyra told me the same thing, more or less. She said that I need to move on from jobbing for you, or she's uh, she's going to get rid of both of us. His ears droop and he sighs. I've uh, never seen the side of him before. For once, he's letting me see his see him be vulnerable. You're probably better off without me. Tremor. You actually know what you're doing out there. Well, I'm just dragging you down. I'm a heel for the crowd and nothing else. I let out a sigh that I feel uh, I've uh, been holding on, holding all night. I don't know. I don't want that. I don't want to stop wrestling. But I also uh, don't want you to stop either. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Tremor finally looks at me. I can see the uh, tension in his shoulders start to release. 
It's a small relief to hear the big dog actually listen every now and then, but it, but it sure as hell took him long enough. Listen to me. I just need you to actually give a damn when you're in the ring. You know what the crowds, uh, what the audience loves to see, but you barely know how to keep yourself safe. Do you even realize how many times you've botched your moves? I have to uh, work twice as hard to make sure neither of us wind up getting hurt. Stop being such an asshole, and let me help you. I know, I know. I've been so shitty, I'm sorry. He sighs and looks away again. I ease up. It's honestly nice to get all this stuff off my chest. I guess his uh, talk with Lyra really hammered, hammered home the reality of the situation for him. You know. I really only did all that stuff beca uh, because I thought you liked being shoved around. I'm caught off guard by his remark. So, Tremor did uh, know how much I was enjoying all that. That's all he always uh, goes out of... Wait, that's why he always goes out of his, his way to shove me uh, in his pits, uh, smother me with his bear hugs, uh, trample me with his stupid massive paws. Am I the only one, uh, only one just now putting this all together? How blind can I be? And I don't know. I just kind of went with it. Uh, being that big jerk and all, I mistook it all as enthusiasm. But I guess I was wrong, and yeah, again. Sorry. I don't really know what else uh, there is to say about it. Tremor. You big idiot. For once, you're not entirely wrong. The dog, uh, the dog, uh, cocks his head? Yes. God damn it. Don't make me spell it out for you. I sigh again. Yes, I fucking love that you're a big jerk. I love how much you love to crush me. Why do you think I stuck around so long with a big dolt like you? His eyes light up, and the weary look on his face eases up. Huh, <laughs> I knew it. And right back to his smug, uh, to being smug. Classic. I guess that's one issue resolved, at least. Well, mostly, but... Why the hell would you go out of your way to even do all that in the first place? He gulps, and his eyes widen. I don't, uh, think he was ready for that question. Tremor scratches the back of his head with a big paw, uh, scrambling to put together a cohesive an uh, a cohesive sentence. Well, I, um, well, I don't really know how to put it, but... He gulps. I, um... I really like you, okay? Uh, there. Fuck. We both st uh, stand in shock, uh, in shock silence. My ears are burning hot. My face is bright red. Here I've been, um, feeling like the biggest dumbass on earth for having a crush on this guy. And he just blurts out that he feels the same way. Cars pass by on the street while we awkwardly wait for the other to, pa to say something. We must both look like such dumbasses out here right now, uh, staring wordlessly at each other. Die of... Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry, and I'll leave you alone. Tremor, wait. God damn it, you big lug. I, I, I really like you too. Even when all the, the dumb bravado, all the showboating, just everything, it's hard to explain. I swear I can see his tail wagging. You big idiot. Y yes, despite feeling like I got pulverized by, uh, wait, a hydraulic uh, press every Friday night. Uh, the reason I'm able to do do what I love. And you do it well. It's hard work. But I know you love it too. You can't fake that shit. So there. I, li I like you. You like me. Now we're both just going to have to figure out what that means. Before I can say more, Tremor runs up and scoops me off my feet into a tight, hu tight hug. My face is buried in his chest, and he squeezes me against his massive body. It's the first time uh, being in his uh, huge arms, uh, where he wasn't trying to uh, beat me to a pulp. I let myself sink into his embrace. Uh, I can uh, actually let uh, let myself enjoy it this time. That's when I remember. Tremor, can you ease up a bit? I wince as his sturdy arms compress my aching torso. I'm still pretty tender from being crushed by your huge ass, remember? He looks shocked and quickly sets me back down. 
I let out a sigh of relief. Oh shit, shit, sorry. He settles for resting his massive paws on my shoulders, accompanied by a wagging tail and goofy grin. I, f I feel so dumb, but for the first time tonight, I also feel too happy. Hell, this is the first time I've felt this good in a while. Neither of us knows what to say. It's awkward as hell, but the two of us are uh, content with just standing and smiling in this stupid silence. This exchange has gone on long enough for us both not to notice the uh, long black limousine that is pulled up to where we are on the sidewalk. Ahem. Uh, pardon me. I hope I'm not interrupting something, gentlemen. We immediately snap out of the moment, a tremor pulling his hands away awkwardly. We look over to see the voice, uh, that voice uh, came from a particularly, a partially rolled down window. I can read, fuck you, I know words sometimes, not ever. From behind the tinted glass, I cl wait, I clock a clock? Clock. A pair of um, sunglasses staring at us, um, but it's difficult to make out much else. What the hell? How long has this limo been here? I look at Tremor, and he only shrugs, clearly just as confused as I am. Kinda. Uh, can we help you? Well, I should certainly hope so. From the other side of the limo, a large lion exits. He's wearing a well-tailored suit. It's uh, gotta be custom-made, too. There's no way they make suits that big. Tremor and I take a step back, uh, thoroughly uh, confused and mildly concerned. The lion slowly... What am I stepping on? Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, so I can uh, see more clearly that the lion is also wearing some sort of mask, concealing his face. <coughs> the large feline wordlessly opens the passenger side door without acknowledging us. Uh, out steps a black cat in a navy suit, also incredibly well put together. His eyes are, were, are partially concealed by a pair of gaudy sunglasses, and he places his hands on his sides. The masked lion stands solemnly behind the much shorter cat, while the two of them appear to be uh, sizing Tremor and me up. Ahem. Well, uh, pardon my sudden intrusion. I believe a proper introduction is in order. My name is Theo. Theo Black. And behind me is my lovely personal assistant, Fang. It is uh, very nice to finally be meeting the two of you in person. Tremor and I exchange a quick, confused glance. Uh, this is... Uh, then it clicks. Wait, yeah, shit. This must be the guy Lyra was talking to back at the venue. I haven't seen a, a lot of other weirdos like this out tonight. Wait, who the hell are you? I saw you earlier tonight, uh, talking to my boss. Now you show up here. What gives? Ah, uh, yes, Lyra. A former colleague. She's actually the one who let me know uh, where I might find the two of you after your show. Ah, well, as you may, or... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, or, in this case, may not be aware, I am the current commissioner of a little wrestling league. Perhaps you've heard of our organization. Does Claw Star Wrestling ring any bells? Claw Star? The fucking Claw Star Wrestling Re League? What? This is pro stuff, like lights, cameras, broadcast professionals. Is this guy serious? I'll take that as a yes. Very happy to have found the two of you tonight. You've saved me a little bit of time. What the hell does the commissioner of the Claw Star League want with us? Are you here to recruit us or something? I am, actually. You can't be serious. Oh, but I am. I am here with an offer for the two of you. Uh, but it might not be what you were expecting. My heart sinks a bit. Wait, so what's the job then? Are you just looking for uh, the stagehands? Because you can count me out. Nothing of the sort, uh, gentlemen. I am being quite serious here. I would ask the two of you to uh, keep an open mind for a few moments while I explain. I wanted to make sure you two were right for the task, and given our current location. Athea looks up at the sign for the lucky dog, rainbow flags adorning the windows. 
Now our eyes follow. What is he getting at? I believe I was correct in my initial assessment. I would ask the both of uh, you both very kindly to keep this conversation between us. Would that be all right? We both share a look, then nod uh, cautiously, confused but uh, intrigued. What would uh, <coughs> what most people associate Clawstar Wrestling with is our premier wrestling promotion, big shows, big personalities, and above all else, quality entertainment. We have, in addition to the main league, another, more, shall I put it, a secretive side of the le of the organization. It's still popular in its own right, but it hosts entertainment for a distinctly different clientele. Wait, there are two claw stars? Precisely. Well, what's the difference? I'm getting to that. A moment, please. Um, back, uh, <clears throat> back to what you mentioned. I was in fact speaking with Lyra earlier this evening. Lyra used to be a competitor on our main stage. She was very good at it. She made more money. She made enough money to retire and open her own wrestling promotion. But I have come to understand uh, something about wrestling and what type of audience it tends to draw in. There are those that are there for the typical acts of daring and bravado uh, that take place within the ring. He pauses and uh, shoots us a sly grin. And there are those who enjoy the show on a deeper level. They enjoy the thrilling intimacy of two men in close quarters combat. I'm about to uh, reach my limit. Impatient. Impatience is starting to get to the, be the best of me. Can you just tell us what you're uh, getting at with all this? The cat sighs and adjusts his tie. You're no fun, but I suppose I owe you a direct answer. Gentlemen, I would like to extend to you an offer to compete in our Midnight League. I assume this is your secret league. What's with all the uh, mystery crap? It's quite simple, really. Much like you would expect uh, from any league, two men wrestling for dominance in front of a live audience. The main difference, however, is that the, um, the victor uh, go the spoils. Put simply, the winner gets to uh, fuck the loser for the crowd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> are, are you serious? You run porn matches? Is that even a thing? I know, I know. It must seem like a weird proposition, but I have come to realize that people love to see men duke it out for the opportunity to come out on top. The actor providing their, proving their power and taking their trophy right then and there. Wrestling is changing, and we at the Midnight League are leading the way in these uncharted waters. What the hell am I listening to? Some sort of secret sex wrestling a cabal? You are probably thinking this is uh, some sort of elaborate ruse, but I assure you it is not. I am very serious about this offer. I have seen the two of you in the ring, and let's be honest, you are just one step removed from fucking each other already, y are you not? A tremor moves forward, his confusion uh, quickly turning to agitation. Hey now, uh, you listen like, listen here you little. Fang steps forward in front of Theo, uh, facing the hound without hesitation. The lion is the only guy I've seen that could match his size. I could wager a guess. Uh, he knows how to use that uh, brawn too. A tremor hesitates and stops in his tracks. A Theo gives a polite laugh before waving a hand to signal for Fang to back down. He resumes his position <clears throat> uh, behind uh, Theo with a gruff. Now, now, no need to be hasty here. I spoke with Lyra, and she gave me uh, your names and potential uh, candidates. Names as potential candidates. So what? Uh, you were just uh, scouting earlier? Precisely. She normally wouldn't give me the time of day for trying to poach her wrestlers, but seemed eager for the two of you to move on to a bigger opportunity. 
Then what was, uh, what was all that shit Lyra was talking about earlier? A tremor steps back, standing slightly in front of me while maintaining eye contact with the masked bodyguard. <clears throat> okay, so I will uh, end the part here, everyone. So I will, I'll see you around. <laughs>